Law enforcement officers are out on the water this holiday week as part of Operation Dry Water. 13 On Your Side's Lauren Baker spoke with officials today. And Lauren, what is that and what are officials looking for? Well, Julia, Corporal Jill Miller says with the DNR, she says it's an initiative where more of the patrol hits the water to keep people safe. And this year, they're, of course, looking for the usual safety measures, but are especially hoping to see more people wearing life jackets. She says from 2022 to 2023, the number of drowning victims who were not wearing life jackets increased from 85% to 87%. Miller says this is alarming because of how much help these vests can give when an accident happens. She says she understands you may feel safe in the water or your swimming experience makes you ready if you fall in. But because of how difficult it can be to put on a life jacket when you're in danger, you're better off better off having it on already. Once an accident happens to get a life jacket on, to find a life jacket, to get it on once you're in the water, um, you're already under stress due to that accident. So getting a life jacket on when you're panicked or injured, um, poss possibly unconscious, um, is nearly impossible. So if you have your life jacket on before that accident happens or, you know, anything, even if you fall into the water and you're not prepared, um, that's ultimately what's going to save a life. Operation Dry Water will start on the 4th and will end on the 6th, Juliet. And Lauren, what about all boating related fatalities? Are we seeing an increase in those? Juliet Miller says we're actually seeing a decrease in those types of deaths, which is why they're encouraging people to wear life jackets so all types of water deaths can continue to de decrease, Juliet. Thank you, Lauren.